Hey everyone, it's Crystal and welcome to Bathed Bath and Body. Let's get into making our own candle with the DIY candle making kits. Inside your box you'll get a large concrete jar with lid, two cross wooden wicks, one measuring jug, your pre-weighed cocoa soy candle wax, your fragrance of choice, and your mixing sticks. Now we're going to do step one. Let's put your wax inside your measuring jug and we are just going to pop that in the microwave for plus minus two minutes or until the wax is melted and clear and we're just going to stir. If your wax is still kind of opaque or white, you're going to pop that in your microwave for another 30 seconds just to make sure it's melted. Now check your temperature. Ideally it should be between 75 and 85 degrees. Ours is at 76, so that's perfect. This just opens up the molecules of the wax and it's the perfect temperature for the fragrance to bond with the wax itself. So we're just gonna stir, stir, stir and make sure everything is melted properly before we move on. Next, we're gonna add our wooden wick. We're just gonna center that using our eye. We're just gonna measure, make sure that's in the middle of your jar. Now the wooden wick is heavy enough to stand alone so you don't need a glue dot for this really so next we're going to add our fragrance ideally you want to add it between 72 and 75 degrees celsius and stir gently for at least a minute this just ensures that the fragrance bonds well with your candle wax So let's just stir, 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 making sure that the wax and the fragrance mixes really well together. Let's add our second little fragrance and we're just going to shake it out to make sure that we got every single drop from the little bottle. So just stir gently. Try not to create little air bubbles because that will affect what your candle looks like once it is hardened. So stir at least for a minute, two would be great. This creates a really nice strong smelling candle that you can smell when the candle is lit as well as when it is hard wax. So we have a lid included so when you're done with your candle you can close it with the lid and this preserves the scent and longevity of this fragrance so now we're just going to measure because we're going to pour the candle wax next your ideal pour temperature is 65 which we got to we're going to pour nice and slowly our wick did move don't worry about that once we are done pouring, we can just move it back into place, center that wick and make sure to just get every little bit of that melted wax out of the jar so we don't waste anything. Now we'll just recenter the wick and let it cure. You want to clean out your jug with some toilet paper or roller towel just to make sure there's no leftover wax in that jug if you're going to reuse it and we throw away the wooden sticks we've used. Now we let our candle cure. It's best not to let it dry close to a window or anywhere like a door, directly close to a door where there's going to be wind or any sort of breeze because that will affect how smooth your candle looks afterwards. So now we can trim our candle 
uh, ideal wait time would be at least 48 hours so you can burn it after making it um, you know two days later so you're going to trim your wick about one and a half centimeters above the wax to make sure that when you light it that there's enough wick to start a little flame these wooden wicks um, will splinter a little bit but that's fine when you light it it's not going to matter you could either use a candle wick trimmer or scissors if you don't have a wick trimmer at home scissors is ideal as well just to make sure the excess wick is cut off so the longer you let your candle cure the better now let's light it thanks for watching guys Don't forget to click that subscribe button and then like and follow on Instagram, Facebook and click that notification bell.